the number one ask from most founders and CEOs about, for help is around fundraising. This is the number one challenge that startups run into and they need help with. So we're helping them with that. So who in the room here has had to help raise money for their startup or help their team raise money? Put up your hand. Lot of hands, lot of hands. I mean, uh, I'm a former founder myself, and one of the toughest challenges I faced for my startup was raising money. And especially for folks in this room that are super passionate about Web3 products and tech, fundraising can be this like soul-crushing side activity that you're just like have to do, right? And so what we're trying to do is make it dramatically easier for founders to raise money by connecting them to the 4,000 plus investors that are part of the Pro Protocol Labs network. Now that really a lot goes into that effort itself from educating investors on the underlying tech, giving them constant updates about startups in the PL network and matching them where, with startups where they can add the most value. Um, but today, I'll just focus on one event that we did just about a month ago in Phil Singapore, which was Phil VC. This was the first time we ever did this. It was a live demo day pitch session, for invite only, so only uh, invited startups and investors could attend. And it basically gave a chance for 26 startups to do rapid fire pitches to over 300 investors that represent over a trillion dollars of capital in the room in a live scenario. So this was really awesome. I mean, we facilitated hundreds of connections between investors and startups. Many of these startups got term sheets in the weeks that followed, which was really exciting. And this is just one of the kind of uh, online and offline events that we'll start doing in 2023. As a quick snapshot, this is kind of like the list of uh, investors that attended that event. So if you're a startup in the crowd or in the audience and you're looking to raise money, please be in touch because we can help. So in addition to supporting uh, our founders by connecting them to investors, we also, PL invests its own capital. And in a similar way to starting and incubating companies and launching them, we're doing the same with investment funds. The first of which is the Builders Fund. The Builders Fund focuses on what Mosh talked about and invests in the companies that come through our accelerator partnerships that are building with our technology. And we have 100 plus investments through the Builders Fund and we support those founders with all the amazing things that you're gonna hear about from the PL network, including fundraising intros, recruiting, technical support, and the good news is it's working. 70% of the companies who have gone through our accelerator partnerships have raised over $100 million in seed and series A, and that number compares favorably to almost any accelerator across the globe. <clears throat> the second one we are working on is PL Ventures, which has close to 100 investments and invests both in companies building in our own technology. 28% of the PL Ventures companies came through the accelerator program in the last year and across broader Web3. Our view is that we have 300 people plus this entire network who are deeply embedded in this space, and that gives us insights into what those teams face as they scale and potentially new insights into the market. PL, also invests, PL Ventures also invests into broader new computing paradigms that Juan touched on earlier, and PL Ventures companies have raised over a billion dollars in capital, and the good news is we're continuing to iterate and launch new funds, including an SP fund that designed to lower the barrier to entry to becoming a storage provider in our network with both debt and equity, and an FVM focused fund to empower builders who are using all the things that FVM unlocks. If you're interested in the FVM fund, please come to the FVM hackathon on Saturday. And the other thing I wanna reiterate is a lot of our investments come from all of the people in this room. All of you are deeply embedded in this space, so please keep referring amazing founders to us. I'm also really pleased to mention that Network Capital provides financial support to early teams, pre-revenue projects, any of these groups, including a lot of research and development efforts that create huge impact, uh, knowledge generation, digital infrastructure, that where that impact takes a while before it is realizable or measurable. And <clears throat> there's very, little immediate or often no clear path to capturing some of that value. The Protocol Labs network, of course, has a variety of programs that support teams as across uh, network goods, infrastructure, and also research topics. And these range in scale from the small scale proofs of concept with very lightweight and small contributions, all the way up to larger scale projects, including research request for proposals programs, grants, and we're also starting to look at novel ways to generate 
uh, value capture that will achieve research and development goals at even bigger scales than what we can do now. Additionally, we're also exploring some crypto native structures that are incredibly exciting, like hyper certs or impact evaluators in order to achieve these goals.